Kyle Busch was an unhappy second in Friday night's Camping World Truck Series race. Bush was the runner-up to Johnny Sauter and said he clawed back to second place during the race without much help because of a faulty performance by his pit crew, pure talent, that's about it. My pit crew did absolutely nothing to help me out tonight, Bush said. My truck drove like s, and the splitters are absolutely horrendous. You can't pass in traffic and you can't race alongside anybody. You can't get within five truck lengths of no one. But somehow some way I was able to get back to the front. Had a blast. Kyle Busch after the race on how he got back to the front, pure talent. That's about it. My pit crew did absolutely nothing to help me out tonight. My truck drove like s asterisk it. These splitters are absolutely horrendous. You can't pass in traffic. Bob Pockrass, at Bob Pockrass May 19, 2018, more Kybish. You can't race alongside anybody. You can't get within five truck lengths of no one. But somehow, someway, I was able to get back to the front. Had a blast, Bob Pockrass, at Bob Pockrass May 19, 2018, Bush is known for sometimes being surly after races he doesn't win, and Friday's truck race was the second straight truck race where he wasn't thrilled about missing out on victory lane. While he's won three times in the Cup Series in 2018, Bush has just one win in four starts for his own truck team this season. Yeah, a 25% winning percentage is pretty damn good. But that's actually lackluster for Bush in NASCAR's number 3 series. He's won 50 races in 144 career truck starts. That's a win rate of nearly 35%. Whether you like him or not, you can't deny Bush expects to win every time he gets into the seat of one of his trucks. That's an admirable trait for someone at the top level of his profession. It can just be expressed in the wrong way sometimes. Bush's frustration appeared to continue on Twitter on Saturday as he took some time after all-star practice to clap back at fans. He also appeared to make the point that if his truck series team didn't exist, four Cup Series drivers and an Xfinity Series driver who have driven for the team wouldn't be where they were without his team's existence. There would be a series. I just think the learning curve to the next level would be steeper and steeper and some drivers wouldn't make it all the way. Jones, Bubba, William, Suarez, Bell, https colon slash slash t dot co slash 1 and 6 zush 45 odd, Kyle Bush, at Kyle Bush, May 19, 2018 I'd be happy to do it. If those are the rules for everyone in the field, let's rock it. When you pay people to do a job, they either do it well or get fired. Teach that lesson to your kid so he stays employed his whole life. https colon slash slash t dot co slash 3 is nick uke 7 bd kyle bush at kyle bush may 19 2018 at least when you own the team you have full rights to make changes to it if and when you want nick bromberg is a writer for yahoo sports follow at nick bromberg on twitter more from yahoo sports santa fe athlete shot in the back of the head woman furious at fellow astros fan for interference surging tebow could be up for a major promotion nfl star offers to pay for funerals of santa fe victims